Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pillars of Eternity 2. This is Colonel RPG, as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as I go into the Governor's House. Well, I, I say it's the govern it is the Governor's House. It's this estate. That's that's what it, house means. That's what house means. It's, it's a sort of a villa-looking thing, except, yeah, it's sort of a villa-looking thing. Pretty cool looking, actually. Um, I wonder, I wonder what inspiration they uh, they went with for for the Dead Fire Archipelago here. Because in the first game, you have some sort of notion that uh, like the Villain Republics are sort of Italian and uh, and sort of like Rena Renaissance. Uh, I always mispronounce that word, but it's it's the French pronunciation, I think. Um, it's the Renaissance sort of uh, building style of uh, sort of early 16th... No, wait a minute. Is that Renaissance early 16th century? No, it's not. Is it? I don't know. Anyway, Italy sort of looking thing. Uh, and let's go in here. Uh, and it, I got the same vibes from this. Although the pirate theme might have changed that into 17th century, late 17th century. Uh, maybe Central America or something? It could be. It could be. Hi. Excuse me. Nice carpet you got going on over here. Nice paintings. A dear wooden ship. I'm surprised it ever floated. Well, it did. I don't know if it did. I just don't know. I do know that I can take all of your stuff. I can't do it. What? You can't close the door? <gasps> well, it doesn't matter. Yes, because now we have proper stealth mechanics. Quietly now. Shh. What do we have? A villain frock coat. That looks amazing. And a villain tricorn. That's. That means three horns. I'll try my best. And uh, no, you won't actually, because we are terrible at this. What can I do can any, for? Can anyone do I hear that? You. No, we're gonna need to come back Demon later lantern. with, uh, well, hopefully with a thief. We'll see how that goes. I haven't gone back to uh, to the to the ship as I said I would. Hey, Louisa, and Governor Clario. Okay, I don't. I I dare not open these things. Uh, in the first game, you can open them. It just don't shouldn't take anything. But you can look at what is in there. Uh, I'm gonna leave it a secret for right now. Hello, Governor. Ah, yes, there you are. As Governor and under the auspices of the Valian Trading Company, please allow me to officially welcome you to Port March. Ah, so that actually kind of explains a little bit of the architectural influence that I was seeing here if he is under well if this whole place is under the Valian trading company i didn't get that impression but yeah they, they, they'd be from old valia uh, or actually from the Valian republics i think it is not old valia because i think that is not anymore i'd like to say the pleasure's all mine but i try not to lie don't worry i'm only here on account of her hmm of course i see you've been as quick to involve yourself as ever Clarice Stone is polite, but there is a strained edge to his wide smile as he turns from Shodi to address you. Apologies for that little drama outside. These are confusing times, and people often react poorly to uncertainty. Between the storm, the pirates, and the, well, certain strange events, we are all a little on edge. Uh, well, what do you mean? No, I know what strange events those would be. Um... I understand. You said you could help me? No, actually, mm, I don't want to go straight to that. Strange events. A few, well, quite a few people here in Port Marge claim to have seen a giant of some kind during the storm. Ah. I would call it a flight of fancy, but unless something has tainted every well in the region, I do not think it can be ignored. But then, the dead fire is a land full of such things. You must have heard the stories. Yeah, stories. I'm gonna go with that. Sea monsters, ancient tribes, a great many opportunities too. Now, to the matter of your ship. You're stranded, are you? It was a rough landing by all reports. Unfortunately, our own ships are in no condition to sail. We've had dealings with the pirates ourselves. They've taken their share of supply ships. The storm saw to those berthed in the harbor. All that said, I believe I may have a solution, provided you're willing to help me in turn. Well, 
I'm okay with helping him, especially not trying to, to pull favor here, especially because it's just gonna say, oh, Kednu is very far away. What what favor could you owe me? Uh, well, I guess I, it's, I, I'm, I'm here for right now, so the f very far away argument wouldn't really fly, but but then again, I, I, I'm the one that needs to convince him, not the other way around. Um, what could I do for you? I just got here. Indeed, which means I can spare you, whereas I cannot spare the guards. I have the guards on the lookout for pirate vessels looking to take advantage of whatever damage the storm caused. We've cannons enough to see them off, but I need every man ready to use them. There is a site of some considerable value elsewhere on the island. A value to the trading company, you understand. In point of fact, it's the very reason any of us are here. I guess the encounter that we had last episode with the... Uh, was he? Hua, I don't remember the names. It's uh, it's tricky for me to remember just mostly vowel names. But Huna? Huana? How, how That guy that we talked to with the boars. The druid. Um, I guess I'm starting to think... Uh, I'm starting to understand where he was coming from. I did get the impression that they... That these guys are mostly colonizers. Um... But not not immediately so, because, well, this guy has a very specific accent that is not at all the Valian accent, so he must be a local. But that doesn't mean he's not part of the, a wall colonization process. Um, and, of course, the first game dealt a lot with colonizing, especially of the Deerwood, and, and it was a colony, and then there's the Eglon Fathans, and there's all the tensions and the wars in that. Uh, so probably just that is a continuation of the same themes here. Uh, and it's good that we got introduced right away. Well, mostly because of me, I would say. Because I went out of my way to, to, miss, to, uh, to meet that guy. But it's good that we got introduced to that. But uh, I think what he's about to ask might put me on a specific side of that colonization effort, I would say. On a, you know, side of the wall, I guess. You're familiar with the Luminous Adra trade? Wait a minute, Luminous Adra? Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, I've dealt with Adra before, but what's Luminous Adra? A mineral of sorts. I'm afraid my interests lie in the economic implications. As I understand it, Luminous Adra holds concentrated essence. Ah. And it is only found right here in the Deadfire Archipelago. Essence here must be... It, it is important that I say this. Essence is soul essence. So it's not outright souls, but it's still sort of the soul force, or I guess you could say the life force of those souls. So it isn't people that is in there, but more sort of macerated people that is in there, and that is a little bit worrying. It's also quite valuable. When refined, it sells for considerable sums. The trading company has invested a lot of time and money into locating sites suitable for mining and processing. Now, it is it is possible that I just misunderstood from the wall first game what essence is, or it's also possible that it got retconned. It's also possible that my character can have a different understanding if I so choose to. But I, 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 I don't really know what's going to happen. I'm going to go with this one, because if this is an available line... Let's see what he says. You're trading in souls, I ask. That's a, a colorful way of putting it. He is. Hmm. Energy really is more apt. It's not quite a matter of digging up the spirit of your old grandmother. Spin it however you like. The gods are going to grind your soul to bits for this sin. Eh, yeah, that's not... no. We will have to agree to disagree. Okay, so, yeah, the, what, do you not think the gods are going to grind your... Is that what you mean? Because I think you just agreed with me in the colorful way I've put it. So, yeah, that's an agreement, I mean, even if cur colorful. Uh, it is colorful, though, um, but the fact that Chody doesn't like that uh, probably leads, to me, leads me to think that I was wrong. Uh, so what happens with Essence, well, the way it's introduced in the first game is the vessels that I was talking about before. Uh, the way they keep themselves alive, or rather, not really that, the way they keep their souls from going crazy in the vessel, the, wherever they are, they could be, they're usually in their dead body, but the way they do that is by uh, ingesting 
soul essence and soul essence is usually resi residual stuff that you can get that uh, off of dead bodies but it's very very little uh, and actually you'll see ghouls for example that's g-u-l uh, and not g-h-o-u-l so that's basically a play it's like the vampires here and just a, it's just a bunch of stuff like that uh, that has just basically miswritten words because they're not actually ghouls with a G-H-O-U-L. They're G-U-L ghouls. Um, but what happens is they eat dead bodies because they don't know. They're already kind of crazy. Um, and uh, they basically go crazy over time even more because dead bodies aren't a very good source of essence. And the first game explains all of that. Um, well, I guess in the uh, sort of wiki, wiki inside the game. But... Uh, it's, I still got the impression that it wasn't the souls, because there's other undead that actually eat living people uh, to feed on their essence. But it doesn't mean they eat their souls and destroy their souls. I don't think that's the case. Um, at least, it, there's, it, it's never stated outright in the first game. But of course, uh, this might be just a matter of prejudice, m m well, like in the... Specifically coming from, from, um, from uh, Sh Sh Shoti and, uh, yeah, from me. I'm, I'm gonna not like this guy. We'll see how that goes. We, and I hope you understand that these matters require some discretion, have one such outpost on the other side of the island. A successful venture, up until very recently. We sought to improve the refinement process. To that end, we hired some of the brightest minds in the field of animancy and brought them out here to lend their expertise. And then one evening, a storm rolls in out of nowhere, and my scouts begin to report that a giant has marched its way across the island towards my dig site. What am I to make of that? Oh, I guess we know where the giant went. We haven't heard from Mestre Odorisi since, nor any of his assistants, or the workers. I must know what has happened. If Odorisi, if his work is lost, then everything that we have worked for is at risk. Actually, now that I think about it, Odrisi, and that's a very valiant name, Clario is also a very valiant name. I might have misjudged him in saying that he's not valiant and it's rather from here. Or he might, he just he might have a, 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 um, a very heritage and just might have grown up here, maybe. I don't know, maybe, but that's, that's probably the case. He, he's valiant, but then he grew up here. Uh, yeah. I don't know, because Palagina has a very different accent to him, and uh, Palagina is a Valian, um soldier in the first game. She's not going to show up in this game because of the choices I made, uh, and uh, there's there's other Val Valian things. I always got a much more... Yeah, bro, I, I mean, I should I should have known that he was... I should have known, definitely I should have known, because he says, he says Valian words, I think. Not in this conversation, though, interestingly enough. They've been very liberal in in the usage of Valian words in in all the uh, in all the um, in all the dialogues with people from Valia. But anyway, which is where you come in. You need a ship. I need information. See to this for me, and I'll set half the town to work. We'll patch up your ship, and you'll be free to go on your way. And if I find this Odorisi, why? Take his report on the situation and remind him that he's under certain contractual obligations. And relay my deep relief at his good health, of course. Do you have any idea what might have happened? I told you what happened, but you wouldn't listen to me. We could have prepared for this level of destruction. But what do I know? I'm just a priestess with prophetic dreams. <laughs> Clarius' jaw tenses, but he otherwise ignores Sh Shodi's tirade. The Huana storm speakers should have kept the worst of the weather at bay. I can't imagine what else might have happened. There are wild beasts on the island, but they wouldn't have attacked an active dig site. Yeah, Elthus is out there stomping across the island, and you're worried about some research. No, you're not worried about research. Let's go with that. I'm gonna say this, but he's not worried about research. Well. If Aeothis happens to strike down the council, perhaps then I will have time to spare for him. Huh. Uh, yeah, he's worried about his profit, really. Uh, Clario lets out, because that's what the research is for, lets out a sharp breath, evidently flustered by his own outburst. Oh, okay. Well, he's... Shodi lifts her chin in interest, so Shodi is impassionate, or passionate. 
Impassioned? They changed the name. Yeah, impassioned. That makes sense. Ha! <laughs> do not, please do not repeat that. We each have our debts. <laughs> no, it was perfectly all right for you to say that. Whatever you believe is going on, you can see it for yourself. That is precisely what I want. Yeah, it seems like I don't have a choice right now, apparently. Maybe not right now, but m maybe later. If this gets me off this island... Gilad, then we are agreed. I will assign men to keep watch over your ship. You will find the dig site on the eastern side of the island. I'll mark it on your map, here. You'll do it for the Watcher, but not for me? I see how it is. Huh. Yes. Why wouldn't I want a pack of Dawn Stars crawling over my Adra mine in search of their lost deity? One more thing. If you should recover Odorisi's notes, know that they would be of great value to me. I really would have liked not to, uh, to be able to tell him not to do that. I don't think it would have ch changed anything in the storyline, but if the game pulls pulls off a, uh, oh, I can't believe you're working for that guy, I am killing whoever that is just out of spite. I just, it's just out of spite. Anybody that pulls that off, because I couldn't change that. Let's see what we have. We have Tahiwa, Snapper, and Poultry. I'm not sure those go too well, but too well, too well with each other. Oh, we leveled up. You? Fantastic. Okay. Uh, are you staying there? Are you not coming over here? Please don't come over here. I want to steal your fruit. Or gourds or whatever those are. Man. Oh, wait a minute. Who's... What can I do? Real quiet now. Oh, it's Adair who does this properly. Yes. Hey, Adair, come here. Ooh, maybe I can do that. It all depends. Huh. Oh, I see what it is. I see hmm? what it is. Let's take a look. Yeah. Let's actually save the game, because I don't think... Uh-huh. Huh. huh. So it isn't very consistent in showing me what what they're doing, what the uh, enemy is doing, basically. But uh, I just misunderstood what that was. Rice wine. Hmm. Rice wine. Is it like sake? Hmm. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's level up. We're just getting more and more levels, which is great. And actually very important with this new system, considering... Mm -hmm. And also it understandable, because we have a maximum level of 19. So much greater than the maximum level of 12 in the first game. Uh, so let's see what I'm gonna go with here. I got diplomacy. Hmm. I got bluff. And I got streetwise. I probably will go with streetwise for Shoti. We'll see how that goes. I also have her on religion. So yeah, basically two things. So bluff and diplomacy sound like an interesting insight. It's probably gonna be a pretty amazing thing, but let's go with diplomacy here. Uh, on this side, sleight of hand, we got arcana, alchemy. Athletics, explosives. What did I level up? Well. So that tells me what each member has. Interesting. I don't remember what I leveled up. I think it was Arcana. New ability for Druid or Chanter. Oh yeah, that's okay. I think it was Arcana. And that's something I definitely need. But then again, this is probably... Mm, I don't know if it was. Was it Alchemy? Stealth. Sleight of Hand. That's for a thief. So I'll go with Arcana here. Makes sense for my character, I guess. Uh, and I can, I, can, I can put it to test, actually. Uh, it's a shame I can't leave... Well, actually, I can. You know what? Yes, yes, I can do that, no problem, because I got an autosave. So what I'll do is I'll start on episode four. No, I need to go to episode two. That's the end of episode two. So I look at my character. I don't think I leveled up at this time, uh, and I see what I leveled up. So I think I have, actually. Nope, I'm still level one, okay. So, I have Alchemy, Arcana, Explosives, and Sleight of Hand. I have two Sleight of Hand? How does that work? I didn't have that before. Chanter, Multiclass, and Pet Party. Oh, that's... I have one. Okay. Uh, that's because of, of that. Okay. And I probably should look at also the pet. Okay, so I have Alchemy, Arcana, Explosives, and Sleight of Hand. 
And now I can load this autosave, which is just before I leveled up. I really miss the possibility of canceling the level up. That sucks, basically. I hope they add that in a future path patch. So, Alchemy, Arcana, Explosives, and Sleight of Hand. That's what I had. And I'm going with Athletics here. Um, maybe because... Yeah, I'll go with Arcana. Maybe because of the way I was trying to build my character, I think it was. So that's pretty good. Okay, let's look at what we have. We still don't have access to level 2 abilities or power level 2. That's going to be next level. Uh, let's see. So we have... This is for a fast runner. This is for arms bearer. Why is that? Because that... Oh, this is a specific druid? Oh, no, no, no. Ah. I see. I see what this is. Okay, so we have... Uh, yeah, I want the chance, basically. I definitely want the chance. So what are these? These are passive abilities. These are active abilities. So these are the chance. There, there, there it is. So what chance do I want? Pierce damage, that's a debuff chant on a duration of... Uh, wait a minute, what's the range on that? Uh, four meters. It's not that great, but because I'm frontliner, that isn't too bad. Uh, this one, he's health restored on self and four target... Uh, four way we actually, uh, because it, it is the uh, area over there. Does raw damage for three seconds. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. It's just... I'm not sure if it's going to be good late game. Friendly aura for that. Friendly aura for fortitude and will. Uh, so I'm not... Yeah, basically I, I need to think of all the things late game. Minus 10% is not particularly relevant. Extra stride and extra reflex is pretty good. So I can have that. Uh, I don't know how the linger is going to work. Let's figure that out. So getting those droid abilities up. Um, and maybe I should actually pay attention to s the speed. The duration. Six seconds. That's how long it takes to say that line. Yeah, so I think I think I did well there. Okay. Good stuff. And the reason why that is... Yes. Uh, is pretty simple. Where's my chance? There they are. Uh, chan Didn't have it enabled. But that's because... That's because I of, uh, of the way it works. And there it is. You can see the linger. There's this spot over here where this one will not be enabled. But it, right as soon as that ends, it loops back. Because you can see that it adds over there. You don't need to have it like that. You can have it like that, but it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, that's a weird way of doing the scrolling. <laughs> How does that work? I'm not really sure. It, it seems the opposite to me. Um, there it is. Prepared chance. That's how I'm going to go. I think that's a, a decent chant. I just keep that over there. And uh, the, the rest of the stuff is good. Mm -hmm. Let's... Yeah, I know you leveled up. Why did it show again? Hmm. Uh, we got athletics for you. Explosives wouldn't be a bad thing because he can throw things. So I can keep these two sort of balanced. Yeah, I'm probably going to go with two... Le two... I don't know, though. I don't know if I should s stick to two, two skills per character. We're going to have five characters, so two skills per character is four characters. So some characters will be able to specialize. Uh, specifically here, actually, two skills per character isn't too bad. He's got survival, I can keep him there. Uh, he's got intimidate, which nobody has, but I don't really want him doing that. I want some other character, someone that's a little bit meaner or something to get up on that. And just keep getting survival there. And if we see that our checks are too high anyway, or our checks are too low, I, sh I should say, for the survival, then I'll be okay with that. Uh, we're already getting power level 2, which is fantastic. Uh, and that's because, of course, we are only single classing. Uh, let's see, fighter stances. The fighter trains in the ability to adopt specialized fighting stances, so you don't choose the fighter stances. Or do you? But that doesn't give you anything. Each stance excels at handling a different aspect of combat. Defender stance is apt for holding fast against groups of enemies. Cleaving stance is effective when attacking several enemies at once. And while warrior stance is best for standing toe-to-toe -to -toe against a single enemy. But unfortunately... Oh no, these are different stances. Okay, okay. So actually I might want that, because that's very important. Uh, defense, defender stance is usually what I have him run with. Into the fray. Oh, that's a special ability that basically he jumps. It's an interesting one, but I'll, I'll be okay with that. Two-handed style. Not really. I want uh, shield. Weapon and shield style. Shield deflection bonus also applies to reflex. Yeah. 
and all defenses against uh, intellect affliction, perception affliction, and if we get any items that actually make us immune to mind effects, that's gonna be the best. Because that's what I had in the first game for him. Uh, confident aim. That's a passive? Steadies the end. I think it is. 30% of grazes converted to hits. That is pretty amazing, actually. Uh, but he's a defender, so maybe I don't want that. One-handed style. Uh, with While wielding a single one-handed weapon, some of the attacks... Uh, yeah, but the weapon is... The, the idea, or the, the question is, does that work when you're holding a shield? Because I hope he does. I'll look into that, but for right now I'm gonna go with that, because that is very important. Oh, I have two abilities? Oh, that's great. Uh, maybe I want some of these back here, then. One additional weapon set isn't too bad. Uh, that's good over there. Hmm. Discipline Barrage. Combat only. Instant. Adds aware. Extra perception increases are converted to hits. Now that is better. That I think is better than just that. I can do this. It depends. It's very contextual. I'm gonna go with the with the defensive one for right now, and we'll see. So we're getting uh, basically that. We got all the things. No, there's no new information here as far as I can tell. So we're good. In that department and a level up for Shodi. Happy to oblige. Hi, Shodi. How's it going? You are getting up on alchemy. That's great that I didn't go up on alchemy myself, uh, but I would have known any anyway. So probably just go with up on alchemy, and she's gonna have alchemy in Arcana. Uh, down here we have history, we have religion for you, and we have survival. I'm not gonna go with that. I don't know if you invested any of those. Uh, I'm gonna go with religion and history for her. That sounds like a good thing. Let's start with, first with religion, and then we'll we'll worry. About all the things. So we got withdraw. That's very important. She has that already, right? How do I tell? Just from here? No. She has that by, by clicking on it. That's how you tell. It's got a it's got a little circle anyway. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, we got some very very powerful abilities at level uh, early level. Holy power. That's friendly always. It sets to strong with five might, and it is a, a reasonable. No, it's a terrible length. 1.5 meters of radius. Suppress affliction. Uh, that's. I might want that. Let's see what we have here. This one. Prayer for the body. Adds fit for 60 seconds on a specific on the caster. Hopefully not. Recovery time range 10 meters. Grants target ally. It's not an ally. Fit for 5 constitution. That's not that great. 5 constitution is just... It doesn't matter. It doesn't actually make them... I think it makes them a little bit healthier, but you need to heal them after that. Repulsing seal. Never use that. Uh, holy meditation. Friendly AoE. Adds resolute, which adds extra resolve. And concentration for six seconds. For six seconds. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's okay. Uh, spiritual weapon. That's for her to use a special weapon. Iconic projection. That's for her to do damage. And the pillar of faith is actually I really like it. Uh, it is. It is a decent. It's. It's a decent attack. Um, but I might not want to go with that. Two weapon style. One handed. Uh, don't really need that for right now. I'm. Probably gonna go with that. Uh, Holy Meditation adds, adds to Resolute. You know what? These are kind of meh. And I think these are cast time 3 seconds. Oh, it's not fast and slow anymore. It's They actually add the time. Good. Uh, so we got these two over here. And Interdiction. Like, these are really powerful. Foil AoE, Foil AoE on a Dazed. That's pretty amazing. Uh, and this one is pretty good if I get her to the front. Uh, let's see what the halt is. Uh, halt is immobilized. That's accuracy versus will, so she need to be very accurate for those, for that thing to work. Um, but immobilized can work very well. It's on a target though, so I kind of want that on an AOE if I can get it. And we have suppress affliction, so I'm gonna go with those two, uh, and basically base myself on lower level on lower levels abilities. It's good stuff. And uh, just in time for the end of the episode as well, because we're out of time. So for right now. You. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Pillows of Eternity 2. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.